Let's do this, Jog. Still waiting on these people who are still getting changed in the Mexican army. But and it should be good a day out there. We got pow. So not really. It's slush. Gonna spread some shrush. Some shrush out there. Uh, yeah, should be sick. Should be sick day. Alright Jock, so how's your ski career so far in a nutshell? It's pretty good man, I pulled off a triple cork the other day and um, I've been riding with a couple of Whistler kids. How's the BC yeah. Provincial High School Champions for you? <laughs> I uh, <laughs> got disqualified but my first time I was in 20th. That's not too bad. Anyway, moving on. Uh, how, what was the biggest jump you did this year? Um, it was a cliff, about 5 feet. I was in the air for 20 seconds, but let's be realistic, 2.9, 2.94 seconds. Um, I did a nice little tiny slap grab, and uh, but I did a flip at the end, which uh, my skis fell off, but I, I landed it, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, what was your worst wipeout of the year? Um, I came around this corner, going down this cruiser really fast, and it was on my edge at a super intense angle, and... Um, one of my skis popped off and I just was skiing on one ski and I uh, I stopped and it was really scary and but I didn't fall so best and worst <laughs> ski day of this career this season um best and worst all right so my worst ski day um it was a pow day about 50 new centimeters and you know the groomers there were no groomers so I was like what the f right so I had to ski pow all day and there's just one thing and I like did this huge drop onto this pillow line and I was like shit I want to gro groom here man and it was it just sucked and I was stuck on this cliff and I had to do a front flip off of it man how about who did you met this season who did I meet I met uh I met C.R. Johnson uh C.R. Johnson <laughs> spirit in my shrine <laughs> and um he told me some really touching things yo I'ma hide and buy the astronaut, crash and watch jacking off the buffering bids, ash and broth, eating applesauce. Sent to earth to poke cabinets in the ash for sauce. Scott, when did you uh, start skiing? Uh, pretty much I started skiing uh, back in my toddler years. When I was a young tyke on the lower mainland, shredding the west coast uh, mountains. Pizzas or french fry? Uh, gotta go with pizzas just because they have more toppings on them. So. You're a professional at doing the pizza, so... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Zamboni. Yeah. <laughs>
What are you gonna get next year, Scott? Uh, hopefully some powder skis, and uh, can you know shred a bit harder next year. We'll see what happens. Shred the twin tips. Twin tips, possibly. Try to do land those 180s and do buttering and stuff like Sometimes that. Sometimes we do 90s together, and uh, it's really uh, it's sensational. I mean, to 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 imagine to turn 90 degrees, it's almost you know if you think about it, it's almost like a triple cork but a little bit more advanced, right? I mean, just imagine trying to land on your side like that. I mean, like, even if you get, like, only a foot of air. I mean, tell him, Scott, man. You do them all the time, dude. It's pretty touching, actually. It just happens. Sometimes you wipe out. Sometimes you're able to ski out of it, you know? Just, she can get pretty dirty on the mountain. You gotta be prepared for anything. Avalanches, weather can change any minute. You gotta be prepared. And, dude, remember that time when those thugs came up and we and take off our skis and slip the throat. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sketchy. I don't, I don't think that happened, Jog, right, but... Lads, we're probably high on some kind of West Coast rug. <laughs> with gang signs and whatnot. And Jock took off his ski and he got pretty dirty. His, his edge was sharpened. His ski was black. That's what you need for the racing, boy! <laughs> and uh, he ended up slitting one of the park rat throats. And did, you, did you get charged, Jock? Oh hell no, man! I'm via via Whistler. <laughs> Jock got charged with manslaughter. He's no longer allowed on Whistler Black Home. Oh man, I hugged that jet. What's the matter to me? <laughs> Every day's Saturday to me. Yeah. Got no job. So that's pretty much my ski career in a nutshell. Provincials are okay. Everything was a blast from the past, and uh, see you guys on the mountain next year. those lines, those boxes, whatever you want to do, and just bringing it all together and just hitting them and trying to do new tricks and stuff. And you can spend an hour hiking a box or hiking jumps or making boxes or making jumps. And it's just, it's all worth it in the end once you finally get that trick down and you pull it off the first time. And it's just, it's just the most amazing, amazing feeling.
satisfactory. <laughs> Good evening, Scott Parfit. What is going on here, man? Uh, just have a couple jumps built, and we're just hitting them. I want to put that GoPro a bit close to my face. <laughs> okay. All right. We got Andrew Clark right here. Good, buddy. Oh my god! Oh, how did he do that? What up, brother? <laughs> Just took this big jump right here. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Dropping it! Yeah, brother! Yeah, you better not put me on there as a hard to charge you extra there. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 